Well, greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry. We're bringing you another edition of Movie Night Live from the Monastery of Mayhem. Our guests tonight are three members of the Omaha Roller Girls Women's Roller Derby team. So I'm just going to have you girls introduce yourselves. I'm Bunny Me and Bruce and Bombshell, Crash Heartless, Rocky Who. All right, and great. Uh, well, it's so nice to have you girls on here. First off, I mean, I know you've got a lot of things to do, and you've taken all the taken time out of your busy schedules, and we really do appreciate it. So um, now, you girls are you two girls do what's called flat track roller derby. Is that correct? It is. Okay, and what's and I assume the 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 difference is is there's no bank track like in the old days, and when they used to televise the roller derbies, and it doesn't have the violence or uh, actually, actually, could you just could, that's you, could you explain what the difference yeah, is let's, between let's flat track and well, I think the other the options? Big track. Yeah, track. Big track. Big track is still around though, like on West Coast. There's pockets of it. Yeah, yeah. like some of the coasts, predominantly. Mm -hmm. okay. It's more of a catch. Ours is definitely focused on the athleticism. You don't have the advantage of coming down the angle at someone, so you have to build all your own strength. So it's a lot more of like the physical like body movement instead of just uh, building that. Okay, <laughs> so you okay, so you're not relying on the track to right. kind of th uh, yes. let you get the momentum going. Yeah, and there's no right. theatrical lifts anymore or anything like that. <laughs> going on the railings. Yeah. 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 Okay. So Do you guys practice that when you're not at the game? <laughs> Well, do you like ever body check other people in your life just to be like, mm, yeah, <laughs> I'm a girl. I think it's mostly yeah. Yeah. yeah when you're driving because you want to like get over really quick and like it's almost like you're on the track still. I get that way after practice. Yeah, I don't you know. have to remind yourself that uh, derby is best done with eight wheels, not four. Yeah. So it's not like a ri road <laughs> race scenario. Okay, so and that brings up my other question. So you do skates, not. Roller right. blades, the quad right. skates. Mm -hmm. All right, and um, as far as the, I, I've, I've seen several of your, quite a few of your matches in the past here, and it doesn't kind of, you don't really have, it's not like hockey where you have the fights break out <laughs> and you have rooms and all <laughs> that, or is that? Or is it? Or is it, yes. No, it's not <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Has that been regulated? Has yes. that kind of been put in check? Uh, originally it said that fights could be broken up at the referee's discretion, and so that kind of led into a lot of like the... Like, You're gonna kick your ass sort of thing? No, it was actually more of like the tension breaker. That was fun! <laughs> Yeah. It was more like slappy slappy. Okay. But you know, sometimes you would get some animosity, you'd get like a hard shove and you'd turn around and Yeah, but no like, like, nobody's what? ever like, you know, there you don't have to sweep teeth up or anything. No, no, they yeah. they tried to legitimize the sport. Mm -hmm. Like okay. now the number one priority is safety. So okay. you can do away with the like the foolishness of fighting because like there's actual ways that you can get very injured without trying to injure people or injure yourself. I mean like uh yeah. Racky here can talk. I'm feeling from a break. I broke my ankle in January, uh, so I'm still recovering. She bounced right back and came back, though. <laughs> I dislocated my finger. That's still healing. <laughs> no. And how long has the uh, Omaha Roller Derby's girl or Roller Girls? How long have you guys been in, in existence as a team? I mean, I, I know it's been a, at least a few years, anyway. Yeah, we 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 call it 2006. Okay. Yeah. And that's when they started at Skate Days, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yeah. yeah, at yeah. 130. That's like yeah, yeah, um, yeah we actually started at Skate City and then a, another location that's no longer open and we didn't have a venue because we were just starting. So we're like, can we rent your facility? And like, with what money? And with what people? And we're like, well, there's like four of us, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, so like, hey, it'll be fun to watch. Yeah, so Skate Days was the play. first place that offered us a home. So that was our first like private practice like that made it like legit. Yeah. All right, and uh, I know I've read that in the past that you had tryouts and things and that's where you get your new members from. So how do, how do those work? I mean, you just put out like a big call and everybody sh and people just show up or do you have like your organized auditions or well, you, what does somebody do if they want so, to? So like yeah. if Verna and I wanted to come and like try out, well don't act like you wouldn't love it. <laughs> you have to be great. Yes, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. <laughs> you have to be a character. 
<laughs> well, I don't know. Would, you, would, would, you let her, would you let her skate in that outfit? Absolutely. Well, of course. If she wanted to, I could pull it off. But no she'd still have to wear or logo. Yeah, you know, we'd have to like find a way to fashion. Maybe so, a sticker in the middle. Do you, do you have? Sorry, go ahead. And no, yeah, it's uh, we do boot camp is what we call it. But this year we implemented. I think maybe started last year ish, but it was rec league. So if you if you're if you're not ready to get to boot camp and you want to actually practice all year round, you can go to rec league and actually learn the skills, same that we learn. But boot camp starts mostly in October, and then you go through two phases. You have the vomiting the stage, <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the hell no stage. Yeah. So what the 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 <laughs> There's there's the no contact. So it's your basic skating skills. You learn how to stop and how to fall. And then they, once you can skate by yourself, then you get to skate with your buddies. <laughs> yeah, so, so like, like the first day everybody thinks you're going to get there and just like knocking people on their bones, but like, you don't, you really have to learn the strategic ways and strategy and then you get to move up to hitting people. You said bum, are, are we suddenly English now? I yeah. Mean, you can, how do you, you can say ass if you like. <laughs> I can. <laughs> well, there's and then I like to <laughs> smack. Yes, you do, and so it actually said booty in the rule set for uh, a very long time, yeah, yeah. and then I finally changed it. Okay. <laughs> so uh, like, you know, there's so many different booty, words. Yeah, you know, side, yeah. are exactly. Took, yeah. took us, you know, yeah. Gary, yes, all of them. Um, so now there um, are, if I understand, there are two teams. There's the Triple A team and the All Star team. Yeah, well, correct. And you girls are part of which team? I'm on All Stars. And okay, right. what's the difference between the All Stars and the Triple A? All right, so like AAA is mostly where you start, where you're getting groomed up. You're kind of like the farm team, is how I always like baseball. Yeah, I always yeah. find another sport analogy, and then once you get up um, to a different level of, I don't know, athleticism and knowing the game, we started tryouts though. Now it used to be like people just like well, like hand pick, but now it's like you try out to be on an all star. So it's well, kind of like so you don't bring pom poms. What do you bring to tryouts? <laughs> Attitude, okay. lots of water. <laughs> Good medical insurance. And, yeah, all stars get to travel too. They do a lot of the tournaments and they travel and they get to go to play um, divi divisionals. 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 We change terminology. Yes. So, so, oh, yeah. okay. so, so there's a skill set. You, you're and, assessed on your okay. skills. And to be an all star, you have to pass all that with 100%. All right. And the all stars is basically that's the old, the old veterans, basically, if I can use that. Uh, Predominantly, but there's turnover. Or just so some really kick-ass new people. Rookies, yeah. yeah, there's people that move through so, ranks really quickly. So basically, someone could come in, try out, and if they've got the skills and the um, whatever, they could go right to the All Star team. Yeah, we'd be lucky to be Triple A. <laughs> well, um, I'd give you well, the Well, I've always kind of thought of you as a Triple X, but that's really because Triple D is what. <laughs> What, what, what we're actually going with, so. Thanks, though. Thanks, Public Access. Been nice knowing you. <laughs> so you'd be in a team all your own. Yeah. <laughs> I am in a team all of my own. There you go. Yes. Only because nobody else wants to be on my team. <laughs> so where can we Are find you, sure you guys in Omaha? Where would we be able to find you guys? Most of the information is on our website. That's kind of how we set things up. It just works better that way if you like drop in, you know, like if you were to show up at the practice facility, we don't really have accommodations like kind of off the cuff. So it's better if you get on www.omaharollergirls.org. There's all the contact for recruitment, things of that nature. They tell you like when the public events are, we can come meet and greet, tell you what the practices are. So when you do come, we could have someone talking you through like what's going on. You can so you don't just be like, here's the skates. Good luck. Right. Well, it's kind of intimidating to walk into a room of like 30 to 40 women anyway. <laughs> so if you know that someone's there to like welcome you and talk to you, then it's not as awkward. Yeah. Now, uh, I assume that uh, that, that the uh, it's obviously all female. The teams are all female. But is there what could a uh, uh, wait wait wait? Because I love that look. Is it all female? <laughs> no. Okay. So, so, like, so we have team. some dudes have been around forever. I saw them in an old magazine once. <laughs> <laughs> okay. History lessons. <laughs> yeah. But no, um, you're actually a coach, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's yeah. a coach of our Omaha Roller Bros. Yes. Okay, and um, now, okay, oh, that. Really? Because I was just thinking, oh, okay, so we have some transgender on the. Not yet. No. Well, if I you're mean, transgender that's... and you want to skate around and be on this team, come. Email us at the oh, show and, or email them at the show. Like, www.rollerbros. Okay, roller, so, Roller Bros. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Big O Roller Bros. Uh, this is, we just started our second season, our second yeah. game uh, Sunday, and we won it. 
So that's that. Yay! But uh, yeah, so we've got the Omaha Roller Girls, we've got the Bigger Roller Bros, and then we actually have the Junior League yes. as well, which is mixed. So there's boys and girls, and they're all learning the skill set so that oh, they can hopefully well, graduate. I'm going to be on the mixed one. That's kind of... Nobody get any skating done, you know, it's like... <laughs> They're no. children. Recently, they children. Were at a, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Put it in neutral toward. No. no. Recently, they were just at a tattoo convention as well. Yeah. yeah. Over in Iowa. Yeah, the Midwest, yeah. Uh, Midwest, the Midwest Best Tattoo, tattoo Convention. Best Tattoo Convention. Yeah. Yeah, we've done that a few times. A couple Shows years in a row. Yeah. yeah. Try to, we try to get involved like with community things going on and, and other um, people that have, like, like the tattoo convention going on. That way we can get our name out there and as well promote them as well. We like to like mm -hmm. double verse by it. Well, we've also had, we've always had sponsors yeah. that are tattoo shops too. Yeah. Like something about the two lifestyles seem to go hand in hand. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so do y'all I never would have guessed. Right? You have tattoos. Do y'all have tattoos? I have one. It's not a requirement, <laughs> but a lot of us tend to have them. One well, well, leads to more. <laughs> Well, Brother James has got like seven or eight, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, you know, and um, How me many do you have? Three. <laughs> I only have two, but you can't see them. I don't have any. <laughs> Unless you're really good. I don't have any because I'm a gutless coward. I don't like pain. Hey, full face <laughs> counts, brother. It, that's not true. Well, <clears throat> uh, again, we won't talk about that, will we? <laughs> no. <laughs> good. Right answer! Way to go! Every now and then I get the right answer. There you go. Yeah, even the blind squirrel finds a few nuts. Oh. They're usually pretty, yeah, but they're usually pretty small. I so want to cut in on this, but I can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. My wheels are turning. She's our best oh, I like her. I like her so I like much. her too. Feel you know? free to say anything you want. We'll hang her up in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh yes, He's I'll talk. And what we're going to do is, uh, before we get too wrapped up in this, we're bringing, tonight's feature is the 1962 classic, Invasion of the Star Creatures, uh, starring Jonathan Hayes, and I just had a complete brain fart on the rest. Uh, Jonathan Hayes, who, uh, as you know, was in the original 1960 version of yeah, no one knew that. Yeah, okay, just, just give me a moment. <laughs> Lots of editing going on here. The little shop. <laughs> <laughs> little shop of horse, thank you. Will you shut up, please? I love the no. little shop of horse. I love them. But little they were in color, color in this film. Well, this, black this, and white. This, the original one was black and white, and Jonathan oh, Hayes played the role of funny. Seymour. It also stars Gail Victor and um, a. Another showgirl slash actress, Lola Thomas. I love her. Uh, they, yeah, they, I think they were in like two films all together. All like, that's all I could find on IMDb anyway. Uh, just to give you a little bit about the plot, a pair of bumbling army privates are part of a investigative team to, and they are sent to a bomb crater in the Nevada desert to check out a cave that has mysteriously appeared. They find the two alien girls, Dr. Puna and Dr. Tanga. <laughs> oh my god, I just figured out what that meant. That's so the derby names. Yeah. Hey, oh my that god. That, that I watched, there you I watched go. this earlier. Puna Tanga. <laughs> Puna Tanga is my roller derby name. I have just picked it. See? Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> Oh Lord, I'm just creating Look, look Dr. Frankenstein, don't be pissed. Yes. All right, well anyway... You created this they, monster. Yes, I did, and I did such a wonderful job. Uh, but anyway, the uh, two Ginger alien Ryan. females, along with their army of uh, carrot-topped vegetable men... Gingers. <laughs> no, they actually look like big carrots with legs. Um, trees. Yeah, the trees, but they look like big carrots. I don't know why that works out. Anyway, they are in a plot to take over the world, and these two bumbling uh, privates end up in their midst trying to stop them. And when much, they're privates? This is 1962, you know, when this was made. I don't you know. couldn't even say the word privates in that context, okay? I don't know. I'm not that old. But what was it like? <laughs> You wish. <laughs> anyway, um, well, we're not going to uh, spoil any more about the film. We're going to let you all enjoy it and judge it on your own merits. 
Invasion of the Star Creatures here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakurama. Enjoy. 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 And we will be back with more from the Roller Girls at the break. <laughs> Thank you. Greetings, faithful followers. Welcome back. I'm Brother Jack Angry, along with Inferna, Lady Torrid, Hello. and uh, the, uh, some lovely ladies from the Omaha Roller Girls. <laughs> Introduce yourselves again. Uh, but me and Bruce and Bombshell, Crash Heartless, Rocky Who. Okay, and what did, what did you think of Invasion of the Star Creatures so far, faithful followers? Wasn't that movie scary? Um, Dr. Puna and Dr. Tanga, yeah, Brother Jack finally got it, the light bulb came on. I know I'm going to get letters, so I'm going to get emails, all right? He doesn't know what Putang is. That's okay, you can't blame him. <laughs> Boom! But anyway, um, so I understand that you girls got uh, you girls wanted to talk about some of your matches coming up. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. We have one coming up actually in not even two weeks on May 10th. Okay. Uh, we play at the Mid America Center in Council Bluffs. Okay, the good old Max Center. Yes, yes. know it well. Um, bouts start at seven. Or the first bouts start at seven. Um, that's the AAA team. We'll be playing Norfolk, um, the Bruce and Bettys, mm -hmm. and then there will be the second game, which is the All Stars. <laughs> the Bruising Betty. I was like, you're going to them up, Betty. right? Yes. <laughs> so, wait a minute. I, I knew a girl who was named Bruising Betty, but that was for an entirely different reason. Uh, <laughs> their color is green, though. I think you would like them. Yes, well, it's, uh, I wouldn't clash. They're already anyway. dead. <laughs> the it's not easy being green. No, it's not. And it ain't easy being cheesy either, but, you know, we, we get by. Unlike... Uh, you know, at least we don't have red hair and wear lab coats, you know. Hey, watch with the red hair jokes, right? We love you. Oh, we love your red hair. And remember, remember, friends, remember Brother Jack's number one rules. One, it's better to ask for forgiveness than for permission. And friends don't let friends wear lab coats. I just had to throw that out. And to the other guy, suck it. <laughs> Thank you. So you can play derby too, you've got the spirit. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well that, and you know, it's like many years of psychotherapy under my belt, that'd probably be pretty good. At and it. he's still psycho. Yes. <laughs> I still get calls from my therapist, when are you coming back? <laughs> but anyway, so now you girls are going to be uh, 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 skating against the Bruising Bettys, and that's going to be on the 10th, is that right? May 10th. There's also the and Fargo team. Yeah, and then Fargo. And then the All-Star All-Star. Mm-hmm. Okay, now Bobby back. Bobby Backseat plays on the All Star. Hi, Bobby. Why didn't you show up? She's triple A. Oh, is she triple A? Okay. Huh? I'm sorry. I thought she was on the All. She was on the All Star team yeah. last year. Well, you gotta show up and cheer for her more. Well, you know these things. If Brother, if Brother Jack could figure out a way to get out of work, you know, that'll be enough of that. You know? Yes. But anyway, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. So go on, go go ahead, girls. Um, so what else uh, have you got coming up here other than well, that day is really cool because our juniors are playing mm -hmm. during halftime. Okay. And then I see a Star Trek guy staring at me, but Star Wars is going to be there. <laughs> oh, the that's right. The 501st Legion will yes. be appearing at the match with the Roller Girls. Me, but yeah. don't let me. It doesn't mix. Oh, you don't want to do the Leah cinnamon no, buns on the side of your mom. <laughs> Well, yeah. Well, I, 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 well, I don't know. Back in the day, you could do that. Back in the day, Carrie Fisher was hot. You know, I mean. It's so, like, what uh, horror movie sticks out in your head from when you were younger, or do you have a favorite? Last Man on Earth. Good. Is that Vincent Price? Yes. Yes. <laughs> that was actually one of the first. And that was the first film we ran. Like, yeah. yeah. We ran as part of the show. I mean. Well, that was our inaugural film, and yes, I see, love that see, film. This works so well. I'm so glad <laughs> yeah. you the kindred spirits. Yes. yes, and during the break, you you mentioned Cannibal Holocaust. I yeah. know that film had an impact on you. A great impact. I watched that on a date once. Is that why you're vegetarian now? <laughs> I'm lacto ovo vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> I, have to be, I have to be smart. But no, it was disgusting and awesome, and I watched it twice, and it's it's really hard to watch. Well, um, just to let you know, to, to uh, maybe turn you on to uh, some films by a good friend of ours, uh, Tony Watt from Canada. Um, and he did let yes. me know he is mailing us a copy of Frank and Pimp and uh, Vixen 2000. And, and say the name that we reviewed. Yes. Um, so let's see if you can not fuck it up. Nosferatu and versus Father Pipecock and Sister Funk and 
the acid head, the Buzzard Nuts County Slaughter. It's from Canada. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Because he couldn't get through the whole show last time yes, um, without messing you know, that so up. We want to yeah. wow. throw a big shout out to uh, Tony. And, you know, hi, Tony. We, yes, hi, Tony. So much fun interviewing you. And we will, um, you know, pass some of this on to uh, the girls here, and they can take a look at what you do. I think they'll, I think they'll definitely love it. And it's when very we, grindhouse. Yes, very okay, grind, I, very I, grindhouse. We don't sit in grindhouse. You know, lots of gratuitous right. violence and nudity in it. You know, and he does some really wonderful work with sound effects too. I mean, you really got to see it to believe it. I mean. It's great. They're great films. And uh, Frank and Pimp, I mean, it's, he does everything with his uh, female uh, muse slash wife slash co-star, Vivita, and this all comes out of Toronto, Ontario. So I guess, I don't know what the hell they're smoking up there, but why aren't you sharing? Uh, uh. But anyway. I, 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 I some courtesy of. Yeah. Frank and Pimp's a Pimp name. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I, I, I read. He, he does have the best. The best title. Name. Yeah. Yes, best he comes title. up with some great titles. Because, you know. Yeah. Um, the Vixen 2000, I know, is a um, stripper slash science fiction film. I know Tony's also working on a, an adult oriented comp graphic novel and comic book. We're trying to get some more information out of him about that. Uh, he's being very hush hush. I also want to throw a shout out to a great friend of the show, Lee Turner from Leakeysville, uh, Mississippi, and New Orleans. Okay. Um, Highly. Yes, highly. highly. The girls, you know, the girls uh, just just love you, and uh, you know, thanks for all your support of the film. And Lee Turner, if you, since you ladies probably don't know this, has appeared in several of his own productions. He's done uh, Soft White Light, which is a short film cut done in kind of a very avant-garde grindhouse style. He's done the CampusHouse.com, which I know has been making the rounds of a lot of the film festivals, and was picked up through Indie Horror Network and. Uh, several other outlets. So uh, Lee has um, is working with the lovely Dawn Diverger uh, and Rihanna Silk. Now Rihanna Silk, you would know from her um, her B movie career. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's, <laughs> I just B. Like B. You B. said B, and B. you look at yeah, yes. and you were thinking D. That's yeah, okay. it's like okay, yeah, sorry. It's like brother Jack. Brother Jack's not well, you know. So when you guys burn. are getting ready for your game. What is the what do you guys do for each other to get your team pumped up? Do you have a certain saying? Do you slap each other's booty? Yeah, what do you it, do? It depends. In the beginning of the season, we were doing a song from Texas. Oh, yeah, because we're getting ready to go to Texas. Yes. <laughs> and, then, and then we sang it in Texas, and everyone's like, "They're from Omaha. What's going on?" <laughs> but you know, yeah. the hill is there anything that you do like, like individually? You know, yep. I take it ready like, for it. Go team, go I mean, break. Uh, and what do you want? Or, or like even before. We, we, we go, wee, wee, wee. Do you go, wee, wee. <laughs> We have a pinwheel thing that we oh. do. Uh, we dance a lot of the time. Our intro is kind of long. Yeah. So we end up kind of like hanging out, waiting for it, but kind of like doing our, our dance. Uh, dance. What do your fans our do? Our K-dance. <laughs> They sit there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're on their feet. They're raving. on their feet they're raving. And like, you're, like, <laughs> mad men they're men. actually really awesome. Yeah. Like there's cowbells and you know there's oh, cowbells, cowbells out there. People bring like our yeah, big need more cowbell. Yeah, like the big like printouts of like some of the skater heads and they hold those up. We had a kid, uh, was it last season, that wore the dead mouse head every yeah. day? <laughs> he was kind of rad. <laughs> like, people kind of fall into their own way of supporting so, us. All right, so um, obviously your fans love you for, you know, obvious reasons. I mean, you're all wonderful gals from what I've, uh, what I've seen, even though I've just only briefly met you here. Um, <laughs> What, okay, let's talk, let's talk about the other side of the coin. What is the like the weirdest or the most bizarre experiences you've had with your fans? Um, have you had any really bad experiences, like any like crazy stalkers, stalkers or on. you know? Stalk. No, um, suck. Well, we all pretty much like cause obviously it's like okay if you're an actor, you have your actor life and then you have your personal life, and you don't want somebody in the between. So we try to have our skater pages versus our real pages, and we do Facebook. Uh, we, when we go out into public, we want to be known as our derby name, you know, that way it's, because we're, it is a different life, even though it's your same life. And sometimes fans, they become your friends, but then sometimes they don't. 
I don't know what else to say. I, know, I, th I think I think we understand that. Yeah, yeah I'm sure yeah. you two understand. I've got my own Facebook Inferno page. I have learned to try to separate from my yeah. personal Facebook. Yeah, page, so right. I yeah. totally understand. Like, and it doesn't mean we love them any less. Kid friendly. Yeah. Adult oriented. Yeah, there's a difference. Yeah. There's just a, there's just a balance, you know, you have to have in your life. Right. So, yeah. um, and I think when we were talking before uh, filming here, you had said that you you like you've gone to parades and the responses that you received from the crowd, maybe out of ignorance of the crowd, <laughs> more than anything else, was less than favorable or. It started out. Rocky, a little bit. <laughs> you know, like, a little rocky. <laughs> when when we were starting, when like the whole derby resurgence was coming about, people really didn't know what it was. So they were like, "Well, it's burlesque." We're like, "No, no, it's not. We can't dance." <laughs> Some of us mind, but you know. And then other people were like, "Oh, it's WWF, it's WWE." And we're like, "No, we're not fighting." You know, like, <laughs> but it's also hard to explain it because you know it's not it's not baseball, it's not hockey. You know, it's not something that like people are exposed to in mass. And it's something that's been changing kind of since Evolving, its inception yeah. over decades. So I mean, it's just kind of hard to wrap your heads around it. So you see uh, women's flat track roller derby is staying around for a while. Absolutely. You don't think this is going anywhere anytime? No, yet. this is the pinnacle. I mean, like, it's getting bigger and bigger. There's been talks for Olympic. Yeah, there's, there's some there's talk to try and get people to accept it to the Olympics. There's I mean, like, the World Cup is phenomenal, like, mm -hmm. just knowing that, like, you know, Team USA is out there and things of that caliber, because before it was, I it just, was regionals and things of that nature, and then it was like, well, we can't call it nationals because now, like, England's involved and, like, these Australia, leagues in other cities and other countries, it's, okay. you know, bigger than ever. Well, I could see the, I could see the bridge jumping onto this bandwagon pretty, pretty effectively, <laughs> although I couldn't see, like, the, the Iraqi, uh, roller, <laughs> women's roller derby team, I mean, skating around the you, you would be a little surprised because in any, almost any city in another country that has a military base, those girls will start their own leagues, and it'll yep. be like the American vets, like in these other countries, like skating at the bunkers and ordering equipment <laughs> and stuff like that. It's pretty phenomenal. But they don't have to like skate in like the burkas, you know. Burkas. But you, yeah, like, it would be really hard to skate in a burka. It would. Thing. I would imagine yeah. your visibility, no periphery. I mean, yeah, it's like uh, just yeah. <laughs> you know, grab something and throw them out, throw them out of the ring. And oops, sorry, that was much too okay. My bad. Yeah. All right, since you played. Uh, uh, you obviously play other teams from other areas. Who do you consider to be your number one rival? Rocky. She gets banged up. Yeah, Rocky. Yeah, she's, she's oh, right here. Rocky, getting, Rocky getting banged up. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, sorry, metal banged up. Metal image. I think it's a big game. It depends, Why? Like... That doesn't get us any ratings. <laughs> it depends. I mean, on we don't have, Yeah. Yeah, and tournaments. We're playing a bunch of different people okay. every season, every year. There's certain teams that we love to play because we know it's going to be close. We know it's going to be great. Uh, the last game of the season. But there's a team you just absolutely despise, and you want to just go out there and just grind like them a into Lincoln the dirt. game. <laughs> 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 it's not like we despise anybody. I think it's like because we're different levels. Yeah. You know, like yeah. you and we. Most of those girls started around the same time, so it's like a sisterhood. Yeah. But then you have all your miles apart, so you're like yeah. long distance sisterhood rival friends. Yeah, and, and it changes, you know, like, there could be a bad game, and then you're just kind of like, God, I just didn't go the way I wanted it to, yeah. but very rarely you're like, I want to kick their ass. I'm sick, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and you girls don't put bounties out on no. each other, no. you know. No, you just got to step up your game, train harder, and then schedule another bout against them. And, like, you realize that if you're playing so separately that you're not playing well together at all, like, you want to actually have them as, uh, what is it called, persons on your side. Ally. 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 Yeah. 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 Gold Coast, we're playing them again. We played them in tournaments, mm -hmm. so we're ready for that one. Yeah. Do you have a lot of turnover as far as like girls that women, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> that you know that are on the team? <clears throat> I mean, from season to season, or even I mean, do you do you commit to a whole season, or how does that how does that work? That it's ideal, but I mean, life happens. There's people that get injured, there's uh, people that get pregnant, there's people that move, there's people that, you know. I didn't know that that, that don't have a I'm like, I'm like, I'm not moving, never going to get pregnant. So you're signing and, up. And um, I would love to. I think that would be, 
I yeah. think that would be so much fun. Sparks I don't think creation. that I'm, you know, we could uh, oh. we could start a team with two of you, call it uh, Brother Jack's Bondage Babes or something like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> You'd have to well, say it all. It's cute that you think that your name would be associated with us if we were doing anything else. <laughs> you could skate around with a ball gag in your mouth. Oh, oh but that's well, you your job. You have to yell. You have to wear a mouth guard and you yeah. have to communicate yeah. with your teammates. There is regulation gear you have to wear. Oh, yeah, we'd have true. to put some like hard inserts in there, some uh, like, you know, yeah. cover. And the ball gag is the ball gag is for you. Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Have you had this many women on your show before? Yeah, uh, actually, with the glam gore, we had the glam gore girls on, and we had about uh -huh. five of them. So it was, and our characters, uh, and, uh, there was a few of them on there mm -hmm. at one time. I was just saying, because like Gulia, like, Gulia, yeah. I mean, if we, had, if, we had, if we had the full cast, there'd be like seven or eight of us. Uh -huh. gotcha. oh, and wow. our good friend uh, Master Vile uh, from Poe County, Florida, mm -hmm. who is a fellow horror host who does uh, House of Master Vile, did comment that. Uh, the first time he saw our show, um, he was obviously completely smitten by uh, Inferna, Ash, uh, Torrid, and Gulia. Um, and he didn't comment to me that, uh, well, he his producer he called him over and said, look, they've got a smaller set than what we have, and they've got more people on it. <laughs> Phil, that actually, Ash has a waist about this big. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Ash is, she's set pretty nice. She's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. she's kind of built like this, but then like this. Yeah, because yeah. she, she's quite well versed yeah. in the art of corsetry, and um, it's like, you know, it's like, I looked at her the last time she was on, and her waist was like maybe that big around, and mm -hmm. I'm thinking, damn, you know, <laughs> eat, a sa eat a salad, or no, don't eat a salad, eat a, ha <laughs> eat a hamburger once in a while, girl. Well, she, she's, she's very organic. Yeah, yeah, she is very organic, very organic, and she's very I'm very organic. Oh, organic. sorry. Organic, dear. Organic, I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> We gotta keep wrong. Wrong. Chat yeah, definitely one of God's more unique little creatures. Just but. separate it. You should know. Yeah. That. yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, like sure. elbow. I'll never count. Yep. <laughs> Next <Yes>. one. <laughs> How's Bob doing? Bob is great. That's what I heard, you know. He didn't know what Bob was. What Bob stood for. Really? An acronym? Yeah. Here it comes. Battery operated boyfriend? Gotcha. Oh. Okay. <laughs> See, they all have one, they just didn't know what to call it. <laughs> so now we'll see, I'll see a lot of posts on Facebook, hanging out with Bob uh, tonight. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know. I can't be there tonight. Bob to me is bring your own beer. No, that's B-O-B. No, B-Y-O-B. Yeah. Dang it. Bring, so, bring, bring, God, you're not even a good alkie. Come bring on. Your own booze. Bring your own booze. Bring your own booze. Bring your own booze. Bring bring your own booze. There. If, if, it, own if booze. it should be beer, booze that's fine. Booze. But B-Y-O-B. B-Y-O-B. I was right there with you. I was like, yeah, that one. <laughs> oh, you're right. All right. Well, before this conversation gets... I B-O-B. I think you're like, you're bringing your vibrator? Okay, whatever. <laughs> I have just lost complete control of this show. Oh, honey, you've never had control. No, it's like control is not Ever. a problem I worry about. But anyway, we're going to get back to the film, Great Invasion film. of the Star Creatures, okay. here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakarama. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. Now, we mean you can have the like, film going while we're we're filming. That way you can just watch like, it. Did you oh. see that? <laughs> it is gross. Like, oh. It is gross. That is awesome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Anybody for pizza? It's a good snack show. <laughs> Chinese food? You know? Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> Got some great burritos off a truck down in South O, you know. Hey, hey, those are South O, don't not be on me. My favorite <laughs> restaurant so is South O, so let's not, yeah, let's not. <laughs> I just gave myself a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever works, you know, our motto is whatever it takes, you know, whatever it takes to get you there. Even if it's Viagra. <laughs> you so good. <laughs> so, all right, that, that's enough of the eyes, okay? You know, it's like she knows she can get away with murder just by flashing me the eyes. And oh, really? Then I'm gonna stop flashing you anything else. I think Brother Jack's gonna shut up while he's ahead. <laughs> All right, well, good it's night, unpleasant dreams, and let's keep America on top. Watch Hall, poor host, y'all. Good <laughs> night. Good night. Thanks, y'all. Yeehaw! <laughs>
I'm going to slap you. Are you from the south? Like Actually, I was like, born in um, Maryland. So oh, that's Maryland where you get like, Virginia. Are you from Europe? Uh, no. <laughs> well, it's like you're saying, bum, are you from England? No. Actually, I. No, because I was nicer than saying ass. We're ladies. Damn it. <laughs> We're ladies. Poo. <laughs> Poo. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Although I do do body combat, and I do, you know. Where at? Blue Moon? Um, no, I belong to 24 Hour. Oh, and then I we think do it body stops. Just the red button right here.